My name is Levi Marty. And I'm Anna Marty. Uh, we both work for UW Sports Ministry. I help out with all the behind the scenes work uh, that happens at UW. And I work with interns, media, and also I'm in charge of the Hawaii ministry at UW. Cool. Hey, could you guys tell me what was your first experience, encounter, how did you hear about UW Sports Ministry? For me, it was back when I was a senior in college. Uh, I played soccer um, for my college in Lincoln Christian College in the middle of cornfields in Illinois. Uh, and one of my teammates had just done UW the, the summer before. And when he found out that I was interested in doing sports ministry full time, he told me that I had to come check out UW and that I really needed to be a summer intern. At the time, I didn't really think a whole lot of it, but a few months later, God brought it back in and, and pressed upon my heart that I should come and be an intern. Uh, so 2008 would have been my first year as an intern with UW. And I remember that within the first few weeks of doing camps, I realized while I was out there doing the camp that this is exactly what God had created me to do. Um, however, at that time, I'd already committed to being an intern with another ministry for all of 2009. But as I finished up that internship, I felt God pulling me back to UW, and I joined as a um, full-time staff member in 2010. Um, and for me, I went to visit my sister on Kauai, in Hawaii, and I was there on vacation, didn't think anything of it, and um, the Hawaii coordinator at that time showed a video, and it talked about sports, music, kids, and sharing the gospel, and when I saw that, I knew that that's what God had created me to do. And so I was very intrigued and I was an intern that summer and then that led to an internship in Hawaii and then UW was kind of always in my heart up until um, 2013. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell me a little bit more um, about your journey. How did you, you know, Levi, how did you come to full-time staff then um, from where you were? Yeah, um, I kind of come to a crossroads where I was getting ready to finish up my internship uh, in St. Louis, which is where I was living at the time, and I didn't know if God was wanting me to leave St. Louis um, or to stay there, so I'd spent um, quite a while praying about it, and one day God brought UW back in, and I realized that, that the role that I was going to be placed in at the time was exactly what I was wanting. Uh, at the time when I joined full-time staff, it involved a lot of international travel, it involved sports, it involved kids, all things that I, I was passionate about. Um, and it, God just brought everything together. Cool. What about you, Anna? I mean, that's a pretty cool, unique story of how you heard about UW. I mean, you were in Hawaii, and we, we had started Hawaii ministry, and here you are out there just randomly visiting your sister, hear about it, but now you're on full-time staff. So tell me, what's your journey? Yeah, for me, I was a little bit older as my first year of an intern. I was 25, and so I thought I was going to stick out. Uh, but I remember going to training and thinking, I want to do this full time. This is exactly what God's created me to do. Um, it wasn't his timing then. I ended up doing a year-long internship on Maui. And that whole year, God just kept bringing UW into my heart. And in January, I prayed that if the photographer was not at UW anymore that I would apply and so that was kind of a sign for me and I found out that that was happening and then I was able to take a trip down to Brazil um, with the church I was at and we partnered with UW and did a sports camp down there and then after Brazil I realized that full-time um, staff was what I wanted to do. Okay so but let's be honest that's not the only thing that happened in Brazil. Am I right or am I right? Tell yeah, me, tell that, me about Brazil. That would be correct. Um, I knew going into the trip that this guy Levi was going to be going, and one of my friends had kind of talked him up quite a bit. That he was a great, awesome Christian guy. He loved sports. He loved kids, but he also loved Christian rap. And that's when I knew that <laughs> nice. um, I could be interested in him. But on all serious note, we went down to Brazil. Um, both of us had the same passions for kids, for sports ministry. Um, and he'll say this, when I heard his testimony on a Tuesday, that I knew that I wanted to marry him. 
Okay, so, is that right? Is that true, Levi? Uh, that's basically what she claims, or that, that's actually what I tell her about, or I, I try to convince her of. Um, but yeah, it was a, a pretty incredible trip overall. We, we had a great team. There's some awesome ministry that got done. Uh, but it was one. It was one of those trips that, looking back on it, that God had to set things up perfectly in order for us to be able to um, be on the trip. I wasn't initially the one that was supposed to go down there. I was the third option out of three people on our staff to go down, but. God worked it out that I was able to be there and then spending time the whole time with them. Um, I wasn't thinking anything going into the trip. I wasn't expecting a thing. Uh, God kind of blindsided me with it a little bit, but I realized that as we were flying home, um, that this this young woman was a re really special girl, um, and that I wanted. I what I didn't know at the time that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her, but um, I, I definitely could see her as a potential spouse. And then it worked out a year and a half later that we were married. Oh, that's awesome. So. Uh, let me let's talk about ministry a little bit. Um, being on full-time staff, you guys do have the opportunity some to get out, uh, but obviously when you're interns and coaches, tell me about a story, uh, whether that be a kid or a camp experience that really uh, comes to your mind. One of the one one of the ones for me, uh, my first year back in 2008 as an intern, we went down to Mexico, uh, did a few camps. I remember uh, one of the camps that we did, we were given the gospel one of the days, and me and the leader pulled me and maybe one of the other two interns aside uh, to pray for the presentation while while one of the other interns was, was telling the kids about Jesus. And I remember that we started praying about how everything was, was going, and, and I remember hearing that there was a dog that was barking off in the background. And I prayed, I'm like, God, will you please remove all distractions? In my mind, I was thinking specifically of the dog, and immediately that dog stopped barking. Um, it was just a very, very incredible experience to see God come through so quickly. Something as small as a dog barking, but uh, kids are very, very easily distracted. And just uh, the way that God was able to remove that distraction, um, I've seen it happen many, many other times, just at all the different camps that we've done, seeing God answer prayers in incredible ways. But that was one of the ones that stuck out to me. Yeah, and for me, um, this would have been my first year in 2011, and I was in Texas, and we were at a church. I was working with the four and five-year-olds, and I had a couple of kids in my group that were autistic, and I had a set of brothers. One was four and one was five, and God just every week would lay on my heart to pray for one or two kids in my camp, and the five-year-old brother is the one that I was praying for. And so the whole week leading up to Thursday when we shared the gospel, I really thought he was one of those kids that might make a decision um, and just kept praying for him. And Thursday comes around and he's not there. And so I was kind of angry at God, like, why is this kid not here? You placed him on my heart. Um, his brother was there. And so his brother heard the gospel presentation. And on Friday, um, the five-year-old came back. And so I pulled him aside and just shared the gospel with him and said, you know, I just want to make sure you don't miss out on what we talked about yesterday, went through everything, got to the point where I asked him if he wanted to make a decision. Um, and he was like, oh yeah, I already did that. And in my head I was thinking, what in the world is going on? He was like, yeah, last night I did that with my grandparents. My brother came home and told me the story and we both accepted Christ with our grandparents. So um, to me, that was God showing me that sometimes we put him into a box and think that things only work our way and he definitely has other ways of making things work and so that was a very um good reminder for me awesome thanks guys hey i got another question uh anna you're a big a diehard michigan fan levi you're a diehard illinois fan um you guys are recently married how's that working out for you um i think we've agreed to disagree on this one yeah, I would agree with her statement. And I get Illinois gifts at Christmas and things like that. And My family is even bigger Illinois fans than I am. And yeah, everything everything they do for Anna is Illinois related gifts. It's pretty awesome.